Hello again, EDF friends. I would like you to meet Reginald Rodriguez Railgun III, as his friends like to call him. And in this video, I'd like to speak a little bit about railguns. Um, there's two different people now that have railguns, and that would be Ranger and Air Raider, as opposed to the previous game where just Air Raider had the railguns. And um, as far as the traditional railguns that you know from EDF uh, 2025 and 4.1, it actually is Ranger that has those kind of railguns. And this time around, this is the best one right here, level 84. It does 15,000 damage, and it has um, 30,000 health here. And uh, as far as the other railgun for Air Raider, his railgun, well actually also, um, it only has, let me, let me go back to this really quickly, it has um, 25 shots as well. So um, the first stat there on the left, 25 shots and then 15,000 15, damage. And then for the Air Raider, his railgun is a little different. It's like a tank, drives faster, and it has 30 shots instead of 25, and it has, um, and it does 8,750 damage. But there's also another um, type of railgun, if you want to call it, and that would be the Brute Helicopter. This also shoots through targets, and it has 100 shots on each side, of course, and it does 5,760 damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these out and experiment a little bit and see what is the best railgun in this game now as far as damage per second and as far as uh, just the vehicle overall. So let's go ahead and um, take these out for a spin. Alright, let's get started here. The first one I want to uh, call in is the standard railgun that we're used to from the past. Um, this vehicle is very accurate and it's, well, it's exa it performs exactly the same as the previous uh, railgun in the past. Um, so. It's a very good for sniping, for accuracy. It does decent damage um, this time around, uh, 15,000. I believe the previous one in 4.1 did 22,000, so they, they lowered the damage a bit. But um, it shoots one every three seconds, uh, roughly about that. So it's only doing about uh, 5,000 damage per second, um, which isn't terrible. But uh, it is nice that you have three passengers so that you can... Um, sometimes people can go in there to use it as armor, like say, for example, if you're fighting that uh, rolling um, or Guinness guy, um, you can go into hit, go have three people go into the vehicle as he rolls towards you as some armor, or just in general you can use him as armor as armor for a wing diver fence or whoever. Um, so it's definitely still a good railgun, and I do find using it mainly for like long range targeting and for accuracy. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty decent. It's unfortunate that it's a little slower vehicle, but um, I mean it's not slower than the past railguns, but it's a slower of the two railguns that uh, are available now. But uh, I was just seeing if you actually can do twice the damage when you shoot through both his legs, but no, it's just the same. It's just one shot um, if you shoot him, even though through both legs. Which I'm kind of surprised it does that, but I guess it's not a big deal. All right, the next one is. Um, the uh, brute helicopter, which you may not think of as a railgun, but um, lately I've been been using this thing a lot more as a railgun for the ranger. I mean, it's it's kind of interesting that he has the best railgun in the game as far as damage, but he also has a brute that is also a very good performing railgun. And of course, this thing has ridiculous number of shots. It has 200 total shots. So I've been finding myself using this an awful lot because. It does um, more damage per second um, than the other railgun, and it has substantial more damage. It does over a million damage total if you use both guns, and it, it's it's very good for stun locking enemies. Of course, it is a little bit more difficult to aim because it does arc, and the range is only 720, I believe. So it doesn't have the the, rail, the range of the railgun, but I find it very useful for um, for bosses. Um, and places where you're just going to stationarily set up a, a place and then just fight from that position. So, um, I don't know. I've, I've been finding myself using this more than the other railgun as a railgun. And plus, of course, you can fly if you need to, if you have someone else to uh, pilot. So it's, it's, it can be pretty pretty valuable, I think. And then the last railgun, of course, is the um, the new railgun for the ra for the Air Raider. And this is it's like a tank. It looks like a tank and it drives like a tank. So it must be a tank. Um, it's the benefit is it's very fast. So, uh, for example, if you're trying to kite around enemies around the map and use air raids, like the tactic of you know 
getting out, throwing a strafe plane, getting back in, driving forward, you know, driving around buildings to uh, kite the enemies, it can be very good for that. And in addition, it also is a railgun. It isn't as accurate, unfortunately. It's a little bit inaccurate, but I still think it's good enough for most uh, average large targets you're going to need. It's made a little frustrating trying to um, hit certain things like a, the opening of a ship or something, but it's still doable. Um, it has the lowest damage, though, unfortunately, per second. But, I mean, it makes up for it, and it has five more shots than the, uh, than the standard railgun. And it's faster, like I said. But, of course, it doesn't have the ability to have three passengers if you need to, you know, have someone else help. Or if, they, if someone else needs to use it as armor or some kind of shield, they can't get in it and uh, use it as a shield. So... Overall, I think they each have their own purposes, like I find myself using the fast one sometimes, like I said, if I need to kite around enemies and do the strafe, rant, uh, strafe plan uh, strategy, or um, I'll, fi I'll use... I, I find myself using the standard traditional railgun the most because of the fact that the Brute, I think, is just more useful in a lot more situations because it's not too often that when you have a railgun, at least from my experience, that you're going to actually... Um, change location too much as you're fighting with it. Usually you like set up camp somewhere and you use a railgun as like you know high damage for this part of the game when the boss comes in or when you need to take out a ship or something. I mean sometimes it is nice to be able to move but I think being able to fly makes up for that overall. So I find myself using this railgun more, the, the air raider one, and then I find myself using the brute a lot um, just for the damage per second. So, so that's kind of cool now because um, now Air Raider and Ranger can both bring in a high damage sniper if they need it, and uh, it can be useful for you know fighting bosses with those with the um, with those vehicles. Right here, I'm actually testing if it does shoot through two enemies, which of course it says it says that it does on the actual the screen. But I just wanted to double check to make sure it does because I haven't really been able to officially test that it shoots through enemies, but it does wind up doing so. I shoot through uh, two Balams here, or Barkas, and uh, it does damage them both. So it is, in fact, still a railgun-type vehicle for the Air Raider. So in conclusion, I would say that uh, the Brute is my new, new favorite railgun, um, if you want to call it that. i kind of been considering it a railgun, and I've been using that an awful lot. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, for Ranger if you're going to uh, need some high damage and uh, the other ones have their own purposes as well but uh, kind of a cool cool new uh, cool new tactic to use at least on certain the rail guns that actually uh, shoot through targets not the flame ones of course but uh, anyway that's all I have so once again thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video